morning and Merry Christmas. I didn't know if I was going to come on here today or not uh, and continue Vlogmas, but there's no Advent calendars, <laughs> but I guess I could do one more day of Vlogmas and film Christmas Day. It is, it's a little different for us uh, this year. It's, you know, it's, it's always different and difficult, not difficult, but when you've done something the same way for so long and then you have to switch it up a little bit, but I guess that comes when you have adult children. So, um, yeah, um, the daughter is working today and she doesn't get off till seven. So she's gonna come over after work and, and then my son will come over as well too and we'll have our dinner, our Christmas dinner tonight. And then she will spend the night tonight, and then he will come over in the morning, and then we'll have Christmas Christmas morning with the Christmas tree and the presents tomorrow morning. So it's just different. We woke up, and it's just so quiet in the house, and it's it doesn't really feel like Christmas. Uh, I've been playing Christmas music and I put makeup on while I was trying to do that, trying to get myself into, into that. It's Saturday morning here, Christmas morning. It's almost 11 o'clock and it's um, already 70 degrees. It's going to get up to 83 today. So it just, the weather doesn't feel, you know, because I love to have a fire in the fireplace all day on Christmas, but it's not going to happen today. <laughs> so, um, but... Um, and since dinner isn't until late, I really won't start doing that, but I do have some prep work that I'm gonna be doing. So one of the things is, I got a couple of packages of Brussels sprouts, and I'm gonna make one of my favorite um, dishes with this. And um, Eric won't eat it. Eric doesn't do hardly anything green. He's just his, mm -mm. He's just not going to do it. So I've got two bunches of Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to rinse them in the in the colander and let them kind of set. And I'm going to let them kind of get clean. <laughs> And then I'll go ahead and cut them up because that's cooked on the stove and that'll be done right about the, the time that the I'll put the roast beast in. And I don't know what that's, I mean, because it, I think it was Michelle over in Australia. She said, roast beast? <laughs> well, that's from the Grinch, how the Grinch stole Christmas. We always joke about the roast beast. So we're having roast beast for, <laughs> for dinner, <laughs> AKA pot roast. <laughs> And I'll show you how I'll prepare that and get that ready too here in a little while. But yeah, so I'm going to, it's so pretty and sunny. I may sit outside with the dogs for a little bit. That's the thing too, is like when the grand dog comes over, he doesn't get along with anybody else other than his people. And uh, we're his people, but our dogs are not his people. So we have to put ours in the crate and so I want them to have as much time outside as possible today because they just love this warm weather. Chihuahuas, they love warm weather. So, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing. But I'll check in with you here in a little bit when um, uh, I, I start some more stuff. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it so much. And I will check with you in here in a little bit. All right, so I've already started the prep. Uh, so I cleaned and washed all the Brussels sprouts, so they have been done. I like to get those done ahead of time. So I will put those in the fridge. I've also got to, for tomorrow, here I'll bring you over here. Uh, tomorrow morning our, we're having a breakfast casserole and cinnamon rolls. I've already cooked the one pound of sausage. And that way, that is done ahead of time. I'll put it, when it cools down, I'll put it in a container. Uh, and so that's done. So all I have to do is mix the hash brown eggs and cheese and milk and that, and stick it and slap it in the oven. But I also wanted to show you what, since, you know, it is Christmas morning and, 
you know, our big breakfast is tomorrow, but still Patrick and I wanted something for us, so I just picked these up at Walmart. Tennessee Pride Sausage Biscuits, and they're buttermilk biscuits, and these are really good if you haven't tried them. I'll just show you what they look like right here. Just little sausage, they're just little mini sausage biscuits. So, I really like them with grape jelly, but I'm out of grape jelly. <laughs> so, um, so yes, yeah, so that is what I've got right now. I'm going to go and sit down a little while because it's kind of, it's, uh, I can only, I can't stand up as long as I used to. So, I'm going to go do that and then I'll come back with you when we're going to start some more stuff. All right, so I'm fixing to start the roast. So I wanted to turn this around and show you. I've got the roast heavily seasoned with salt and pepper. I'm gonna sprinkle some flour on it and then I'm going to put it in my um, Le Creuset uh, and sear it. And then I will, after it's seared, then I will take it out, add a little bit more oil and then I'm going to put these, I've got three onions that I've cut in half, and I'm going to set those down in a circle in the pot, and then set this, uh, oh, I also have a couple of cloves of garlic that I'm going to chop about a, a little bit off the top and set those down, and just leave them in their little packages right there. And then um, I will add some thyme, uh, rosemary and beef broth and wine and cook this sucker for about four hours all right so here is the roast that has been seared on all sides with the salt pepper and flour and then in the pot here I have got the three onions halved and peeled sitting on the bottom and then the two garlic uh, pods with the ends cut off and a bunch of thyme and rosemary in there so now i'm going to take this and put in here so the roast is in here and now i'm going to take three cups of beef broth or no beef stock and i am putting it in the pan and now I'm gonna add one cup of wine I'm using a Cabernet Sauvignon my oops I missed it yeah okay so this is going to go in my two my oven at 275 with the lid Oh, hope I can pick this up. So, now I did remember, and this is something I always have, have to try and remember in my ovens here, I have one of these trays that actually comes out, the bottom one. So I had to take out my middle, uh, my middle shelf so that it would have the height to fit in here. So now I'm gonna go get the pot and put it in here. And um, I'm gonna show you also what I've done today is I made another round of little Oh, treats. All right, so we're going to start the bus Brussels sprouts now. I have got six slices of bacon that I have just taken my, my kitchen scissors and they have just cut up. I find that's just a lot easier. So I'm going to cook this and then take the, the uh, once it's browned, take the pieces out and then throw in the Brussels sprouts. All right, so we're gonna continue with the Brussels sprouts. So I have taken uh, the cooked bacon out and put it in a bowl. Now, I left, or actually, I poured out the bacon grease except for probably about two tablespoons in my pan. So what I'm going to do now is turn the heat back onto that, and then I'm going to take my Brussels sprouts and go in here. So, so now we are we've got Brussels sprouts and bacon grease. So it's 
gonna be a combination. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil as well too. But first I'm gonna kinda of stir up the Brussels sprouts in the bacon grease a little bit. Yeah. Get all of that flavorful bacon grease on the Brussels sprouts. Yeah. That's one of the things that's gonna make this so good. So, I've got it set to about medium. So what I'm gonna do is I'm making a little, kind of a little, let me show you. A little well in the middle. And I'm gonna take my olive oil and just add a little bit in there. And then I'm going to start stirring this around in here. Like I said, it's a medium high. Now I'm going to take some salt and I always use kosher salt. Very rarely do I use just the granulated plain salt. And I'm also going to take some black pepper I'm gonna give these a little toss again. Now I'm gonna put the lid on when I find the lid. So I'm gonna put the lid on, then I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, the Brussels sprouts and the balsamic are doing quite nice. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna add in my bacon. Give that a toss. Now this is good just by itself, but I'm gonna make it just a, take it up just a little bit. Also, I'm going to mix in some, turn the package around here, some dried cranberries. Maybe about a quarter of a cup. and mix all of that in there. Cranberries say holiday, right? So these will be ready in just a few minutes. I'm putting it on low and putting the lid back on it for a few minutes. Okay, dinner is out of the oven, so I'm gonna show you everything we've got so far. So, hold on, all right. Here is, I've taken the roast beast out, and this is what is left. And so what I did is I took a, some of it out, the au jus, and I strained it. So the roast is right here, and it's been tasted, and it is yummy. I have here the Brussels sprouts with the bacon, balsamic, and uh, cranberries. The rolls are still in the oven. Over here, I have I have mashed potatoes that are ready, and then here I have mac and cheese. My kids requested. And then, of course, in here on the table already, I have just a few little deviled eggs. So, and the table is set. I need to put some candles out. We're ready. I have a cheesecake for uh, dessert ready. And then I have some Cabernet Sauvignon that I have been sipping on. And this is what I used in this in which I will not let any of this juice go to waste. I will uh, save everything and I may make like a French onion soup or something. Doesn't that sound awesome? So yeah, we are ready for Christmas dinner. The rolls, I'll show you those. They are in the oven right there. The butter is all nice and softened. So we have 
we have Christmas dinner ready. So this is going to end this. So Santa Baby is here with me and we're gonna say good night and we're gonna tell you Merry, Merry Christmas. And thank you so much to everybody who has given us the support. And again, if you want to add in some questions to us that we will do a video on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day um, for both of us, <laughs> that would be wonderful. Leave your questions down below or send them to my email, which is down in the description box. But I want to thank everybody for all the support that you have given me yeah. these last two years. My channel is growing and I'm just so, so happy. And thank you for all the support. And I wish you all a very, very safe and a very Merry Christmas. Remember the reason for the season and spend it with family. I hope you have family with you. And um, just, and we're looking forward to a good new year that's gonna be here before we know it next week. So we are signing off with love and hugs from <clears throat> Texas. Merry Christmas, guys. Definitely. Enjoy. Bye. Bye.